Hi Aries. Hope everyone is having a good April. This is your weekly reading from the, uh, I almost said the 15th, because that's my mom's birthday. <laughs> it's not, it's the 18th to the 25th. Um, I hope everyone's having a good week so far. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm just kind of getting some messages already. Okay. Um, if this resonates with you, please like, subscribe, share, comment. That'd be greatly appreciated. If it doesn't, then uh, check your moon and rising sign because you could be in that energy as well. Also, a reminder, this is general readings. So if I'm not in your energy this week, I'm sorry. I'll try to connect to it uh, next week. Um, but yeah. Seems like there's a little bit of confusion to start off um, this week. Um, feeling like there's a lot of choice, choices to kind of go forward or move forward um, here. Um, a little bit of brain fog. I'm getting sense of direction, um, getting sense of kind of what we're passionate about, things that kind of um, fill us with enthusiasm and drive, because I have the page of wands here, and the page of someone who's really um, eager and enthusiastic, adventurous, um, free spirit, young spirit, someone that really goes after what, what they want with um, gusto, with passion here. Um, so it's funny that it's kind of, this is kind of following the, the confusion that's happening right now, the unsure of kind of where to go. I think it's kind of the energy that I'm feeling right now is we need to feel that energy uh, moving forward of that um, passion for life, that enthusiasm for life again, that drive and like um, being open and being okay to not maybe even knowing exactly which direction we're going to go or do, but just having that enthusiasm for life, like having um, enthusiasm for the adventure of life again. Is kind of what I'm feeling. Okay, um, we got the uh, higher font here reverse, which kind of means someone a little rebellion, um, going against kind of the grain, going against what society maybe thinks of us to do, uh, feeling rebellious. And so maybe that's the energy that you're kind of feeling this week. Maybe you're just kind of being like, you know what, fuck the norm. I'm going to kind of do my own thing here with the higher font reverse. It's all about that rebellion. It's all about that, like, you know, living dangerously. So maybe you're like, I don't know. I don't know. I just kind of get this energy of you. <laughs> you know what? I just like saw. It was just like I'm going like woohoo! Like you know, just like strap on, like in for the ride. Like here we go, roller coaster um, energy. You're just feeling rebellious this week, and you're like, you know what? Like, fuck it. Is the energy I'm kind of feeling <laughs> with this? Interesting. There he is. You're just like woo. Get that adventurous side again in you. That, um, you know, that side of you that kind of wants to break the rules, that wants to go against society, go against the grain. You're feeling it this week. I'm feeling the energy of no one's going to define me. No, no, no. Like, that's the energy I'm kind of feeling here. Yeah, you're like, no one is going to define me or who I am. Um, you might be dealing with a Pisces here because I have the moon reversed in the Page of Cups. So you might be starting a new emotional offer um, with this um, Pisces or this water sign here um, that you've been dealing with. Um, if if it's not having to do with the Pisces or the water sign, um, for some of you, this might just be emotional offer. Um, you might be getting some truth or some clarity because it looks like, especially with the moon reversed here, it's kind of um, illusions or truth kind of kind of coming to the surface here. Um, so whatever this kind of new relationship or this new emotional kind of maybe beginning, you're going to see some truth in it um, here. Maybe that's the person being truthful with you, or you're going to kind of see what the truth of this kind of connection is. So maybe I'm just going to ask kind of what is this truth here? Yeah, just get clarity kind of with the three of swords here. You're gonna you you see it coming in. You see that um, things are manifesting for you. Uh, you might be also. Um I mean, this also they might be feeling like someone is on the way. For, I don't know. There's just this feeling of something co um, of, of um, coming towards you, um, especially this kind of maybe this love connection here. Um, maybe you're going to feel this person's energy coming towards you, or if they do come towards you, you're going to sense um, their energy. But there's going to be some truth here where you're going to be like, wait a second. Like, I'm, I don't know. I just can feel. I'm getting this idea of like feeling something coming towards you. Um, and if it is this new love connection, that's great. On the way, it seems like there's going to be some truth or Someone might kind of confess their feelings or kind of be on the way towards you there. Um, so for some of you, you might have a new relationship 
or some just kind of talk about their feelings. I have the devil reversed here, which is all about kind of um, letting go of um, toxicity, whether that's relationships, whether that's addictions, um, whatever the stuff that kind of binds us down, that keeps them, us from feeling fulfilled, that keeps us, fear is a big one, um, that keeps us from fulfilling our kind of best life here. Um, we're kind of moving away from that this week with the devil reversed. Um, can I kind of see what kind of things we're kind of moving away from with the devil reversed here? Queen of Wands. Okay, some of you might be attached to this other um, fire sign Aries um, with, with this Queen of Wands energy here. Um, there could be this other fire sign that you are detaching from, maybe this toxic connection with this other fire sign um, that didn't really work out, that you're kind of ridding yourself um, of that energy from. Also with the Page of Wands, it could just, or with the Queen of Wands here, um, Aries, it could also just generally be like, rid yourself from not feeling um, that um, regalness, not feeling that, um, power in ourselves, uh, feeling in, uh, in our, um, I, the phrase coming to my head, which I don't even know if it's a real phrase, but it's, um, power, um, that power that, uh, like to the flame, the, the, the flame that drives that kind of, I feel like it's like, you know, from Clue where she's like the flames, the, the, the flames, Mrs. White. It's a very niche reference. Anyways, um, it's that, it's that flame, it's that power, it's that power in our, um, in that kind of part of us, which um, sometimes can be off-putting to some people, that, that the power in that flame, in, the, in that fire, in that passion, you know, um, in that rebellion, in that, you know, the fire is so unpredictable, sometimes it can move whatever, you know, lighting that fire, putting smoke to, to fire here, whatever that phrase is. Anyways, a feeling, um, letting go of not feeling that, um, control feeling that um that you're sitting on that throne here um if this isn't a fire sign that you're kind of dealing with here or a female fire sign i just kind of gets it's like the uh, removing from yourself that maybe something something is wrong with us because we're not following tradition or something is wrong with us because society deems us as a rebellious soul that's no, all interesting we have the Queen of Cups here as well, so you could be dealing with the fire sign again. This could also be the fire sign that's kind of um, come in here. Maybe there is a water sign that you're kind of worrying about or wanting to come in here with this Queen of Cups energy. Um, Pisces, uh, Cancer, Scorpio here. Um, something's not moving along fast enough for you or the communication's not um, pushing along here. I want to kind of see what this... Come on, this Queen of Cups. And what this is. Could be you could be having a you could have a mother. That's a, a water sign as well. Um, things the communications maybe been a little off. Um, maybe you guys haven't really been um, talking to each other because uh, there is this unhappy family card with this water sign here. Um, so again, maybe this is a mother figure that is a water sign um, here that you've kind of. Um, things have kind of been a little bit wonky with um, or feeling like you haven't been supported by this person. Maybe this is someone's energy that you um, dealt with in the past that made you feel like, um, I don't know, something was wrong with you. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I don't know. I have more on this like water sign, this unhappy thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think there's going to be this energy. Sorry, I'm just feeling out what this are trying to tell me. Tell me. Tell me. There's going to be some end to fighting here. Um, whoever this person is, this water sign here that is kind of creating this unhappy family moment. Um, I don't think you're going to take it personally here. I think whoever this kind of is that you're dealing with, this water sign, um, seems like they have almost their own shit going on here. Um, I think you're going to get kind of clarity and you're going to see that 
what it is that is kind of tearing you apart from each other as something that's deeper level um especially with the empress reverse here it's someone that's not feeling themselves someone that's not feeling abundant uh so maybe people are feeling kind of in that low vibrational energy this person might be um in that energy here um especially with their family it's hard to kind of let that energy go um but i don't know i just kind of keep getting kind of forgiveness in a way um put keep your boundaries up keep them um up like obviously if something's abusive don't crawl back to it but if you feel like this is something that can be worked on or or um something where you find equal parties are putting the kind of the work together here it, it might be uh solvable um you could be kind of rekindling the connection here but i think there's just just energy here of someone um someone's energy vibrating low that is affecting your energy and causing conflict um because i get this energy of you're just kind of trying to be who you are um be who you're kind of meant to be here and there's this energy um that maybe is saying some things or not saying things at all that are uh count counterdicting from it like there it's like almost because their life hasn't they're vibrating low right so it's almost like um, when you're vibrating low it's like in the spot of jealousy it's the spot of um you know things don't work out for me so they shouldn't work out for you um someone doesn't like that you're kind of vibrating higher back in your energy of, of feeling like yourself again um so just watch out for that don't let it affect your level of um happiness right anything else for aries Maybe some kind of money didn't come through the way you wanted it to. Uh, maybe some of you were applying to grants or some kind of job or some kind of position where um, someone's kind of lending you money or giving you money. Maybe this is the person that you're kind of riffing from because um, it just seems like this kind of new a little bit of financial stability isn't kind of coming in here. Um, so this week just then that might come up just to give you kind of a heads up. Um, you know, you might not be receiving money the way you kind of thought that you were going to get it. Um, so make sure you have a, a saving plan for that or a backup plan. Prairies. And I love, I love when the Oracle cards kind of come out like this because I'm just like, that is exactly what we're talking about, finding our personal power. Third chakra, Archangel Camille, all about our, um, all about being us and kind of really feeling that force that is us as a person. Emotions of desire, life force. The power of Archangel Camille is holding a beautiful sphere of golden light to outer solar plexus, which is the location of your third chakra, um, center of your life force. The issue here was, uh, revolves around emotions of desire in your personal energy. When this card appears upright, it indicates an increased enthusiasm is present or soon to be on its way. And that's what we're kind of talking about here with the Page of Wands, right? And we're talking about that enthusiasm of being yourself again, especially with the Queen of Wands as well, that rebellion, that feeling, that fire, that flame of kind of who we are. Um, this is a great time to move forward to the completions of your desires. Your life force is vibrating with power and resonance. Your soul is calling you to direct your energy Energy in a focused purposeful manner um, this angel of power is with you now so just go for it and that's what I'm talking about there might be someone here who is kind of trying to defect you um, affect you in a different way because it, they're seeing how much of this um, fire or this life force that you have and they're kind of jealous of it here and they're jealous of um, seeing the universe kind of bringing some things towards you so just watch out for that okay and then you also have you are not alone I'll read that from the Starseed Oracle. The older the soul, the deeper the cave. Many star seeds and old seeds enjoy their own company. Spending time alone can be comforting and necessary for vitality, as it allows them to commence with their soul and fill their energetic resources, especially if you have an underactive or open root chakra or find it hard being human. 
Many sour seeds find it nourishing to retreat and to spend their time in meaningless conversations and relationships. However, we must remember that we are not here to go about this life alone. Humans are pack animals, and we all need love, company, support of others, both emotionally and physically. In our increasingly online world, we can be connected to more people, yet feel more alone and isolated than ever. This is still so much we don't uh, know about this energetic side of uh, side effects of things like social media. Um, with so many people knowing our news, what is it doing to our auric field? Commonly, we find ourselves in constant conversation, yet lacking the genuine connection of physical community and touch. The main message of this card is to step out of your cave and physical reach of your um, out of those in your own life, to replenish when you need to uh, when you need to, but not isolate yourself. This can be seeing friends, family who live nearby, or having a regular catch up walk with someone. In what ways can you open yourself up to people who are physically in your life, uh, those who tr um, those you truly know? And again, maybe this is um, part of your kind of plan this week. For some of you, whatever this unhappy relationship um, is, maybe you're feeling like you have to mend it, right? You're feeling like I have to um, work on it here. Um, all right, Aries, I hope that helped this week.